Right, so today we're looking at part 12 of Big Ed and Liz on 90 Day Fiancé Happily Ever After Season 7. Given their first engagement party ended in tears, the pair have decided to have a second one. So now they're in Arkansas where Big Ed grew up so they can throw the party with Ed's family, many of whom were unable to make the first one in California. Last time out, Big Ed took Liz to visit his childhood home, the high school he went to as a kid, and then they went round to Ed's sister Christine's house for dinner. And now today, it's finally time for the engagement party. With the nightmare of the first one still fresh on their minds, the pair are anxious to see how this one pans out. And Liz is worried about one thing in particular. Ready to meet La Familia? Where are you gonna leave me by myself? I think that's the only thing I'm really nervous about. I'll keep you on my arm. I won't leave you by yourself. All right, who wants to take bets? I reckon in just the first hour, he leaves Liz alone in the lion's den. Given how hostile Tiffany was meeting her, I'm not surprised that she's apprehensive about meeting Big Ed's extended family. Even if most of them are fine, it only takes one to make her feel unwelcome. I mean, Ed doesn't exactly need to babysit her the entire time, but if he leaves her too early, she is going to be a sitting duck. But this one's definitely not going to end like the last one, I'll tell you right now. I can't tell if this is Ed saying that he's learnt from his mistakes and that he won't get too drunk or jealous or insecure this time. Or if this is a threat and he's saying like, I'm telling you now, this will not end like the last one. I guess with only Liz and his family there, there's no one for him to misread or misjudge and there's no one that he thinks shouldn't be there or shouldn't be friends with Liz. But it's going to be really interesting to see who he sides with if there's an argument. We're getting ready for our engagement party and I'm a little bit afraid. What if it doesn't go well and they don't accept Liz? Like, I'm not sure where I would go from there. It kind of sounds like he doesn't know if he's going to stay with Liz if his extended family doesn't approve of her. And that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. The two most important family members to him, his mom and his daughter, already don't approve. And probably more so than anyone else would because they're the ones closest to him. Maybe it's the straw that would break the camel's back and it would just make it all too much for him. Or maybe he's just saying that he just wouldn't know how to deal with it. But I guess they're about to find out. Given Ed's family have done well in real estate, they're having the party in a castle. But whilst that seems to inspire Ed, the whole thing appears daunting to Liz. I think it's a perfect kind of um, fairy tale. It looks like there's going to be a lot of rooms I can hide in if I get uncomfortable. It's interesting seeing the stark differences in their predictions, isn't it? In his typical The World is a Disney movie and I'm Prince Charming mindset, Ed is typically deluded and thinks that everything is going to magically just be amazing. Whereas Liz is already mentally preparing for the worst, which based off past trends, isn't a bad idea. I'm the one on the left. Hey, Eddie, girl. <laughs> Some things have, like last night at midnight. I'm just kidding. <laughs> For goodness sake, Ed, what is it with this man and his wildly inappropriate jokes this season? At least it's with his family and not hers this time. Unlike Liz's grandparents, Ed's siblings and cousins seem to actually enjoy that one. So maybe it's just their sense of humor. Plus, I guess it's kind of nice for Ed to take the focus off Liz to begin with, even if it does make her feel a little bit embarrassed. Anyway, they all say hello, Big Ed finds himself with the guys, and Liz finds herself surrounded by the girls. One of them very kindly breaks the ice and says that she loves the dress that Liz is wearing. In response, Liz says thank you and that her friend gave it to her, and one of the girls mishears her. Wait, did you say Ed gave it to you? Oh no, my friend. <laughs> well, I was like, no way Ed gave it to you. <laughs> Oh, it's so awkward, but it is actually quite a nice atmosphere. It's nowhere near as tense or frosty as I thought it might be. And as we all know, roasting Ed is a good way to bond with strangers. With the awkward silence at the end though, I'm guessing at this point, Liz was hoping that Big Ed was gonna come over and break the ice even more. But instead, surprise, surprise, he does exactly what he promised he wouldn't do and leaves her all by herself. Boys, let's go in the other room, man. It's too loud in here. All right, I'm you guys on a drink. Job. All right. Anyways, well, look at this. It was just so inevitable, wasn't it? Just a couple of hours ago, he was saying, I'll keep you on my arm, I won't leave you. And yet here he is, less than five minutes after arriving, waddling off into another room with a pint of wine in his hand with his boys. Also, it could just be the way that they cut it, but we didn't see Ed properly introduce Liz to anyone, not even the people he was talking to. I thought there was a respect that he would make me comfortable till I adjusted and got to know the family, but I'm disappointed. 
I feel like this is another case of disappointed but not surprised. He was always going to walk off and leave her by herself at some point, I just don't think she expected it to happen so quickly. Well with Ed gone, the girls waste no time in seizing the moment and sitting Liz down to get all of the juicy details of the relationship. The first thing they ask about, of course, is when the wedding is happening. In response, Liz says that setting the date is on ice at the moment and that there's one thing in particular holding them back. I think the pressure of his mom not being on board. I don't want to look back in a year or two and then have that be a regret. Crikey, the look on Christine's face when Liz brought up their mum was quite intense. You could tell that she was thinking like, you better watch where you're going with this one. But ultimately, I think what Liz was saying was fair and was definitely something that Christine can get behind. There's no point rushing to get married for no particular reason, doing it whilst Norma doesn't approve of the relationship, and having Ed live to regret that his mum wasn't there to see him get married for the second time. Like, why not just wait a little bit longer to see if Norma does come round to the relationship? I don't think Ed's gonna be ready to get married until his mom can accept me. I see Ed eventually leaving me because his family's not accepting. She is clearly genuinely worried that he's gonna leave her for that, and I wonder why that is. I feel like in a normal, healthy relationship, she'd air all of those concerns, and Ed would give her all the reassurance she needs that it's not true. But not only does she lack the communication skills and he lack the emotional intelligence to do any of that, I wouldn't be surprised if he had been dropping hints on purpose to make her feel like this, to keep her in the cycle of insecurity. Next, Liz asks why Norma isn't at the engagement party, and so Christine said that she didn't formally invite her because she and Ed are still working through their problems. I think she felt maybe forced out, which is, I think, valid. I mean, it was very hard her mom. It hurt her very badly because she felt she was leaving her place. Interesting. This is the first time we've heard about how Norma felt about being kicked out. I remember when Liz first moved in, Ed made it sound like it wasn't an issue at all that Norma had to leave, and he made it sound like the whole thing went seamlessly. But evidently, that wasn't exactly the case. I know she shouldn't expect to live with her son forever, like eventually they were going to have to part ways so he could start a family of his own, but I don't doubt that he handled it insensitively. And it's not surprising that Norma feels betrayed at being kicked out for Liz so quickly, having been there for all of Ed's life. Well, whilst all of this was going on between the girls, Ed was next door with his brother Tommy, having pretty much the exact same conversation. I had to tell mom, look, I love you. When you're ready, you know, I'm here, you know, but until you can accept Liz, I can't be around you. That's, this is my life. He talks a lot about the issue being Norma accepting Liz, but it sounds like the root cause of the fallout was the house move. Maybe to help Norma get over it and accept Liz, Ed just needs to apologise for how he handled the situation. Like he says he didn't intend for Norma to feel forced out due to the relationship, so he should be saying that to her, not his brother. And to throw a potential twist in the tale, when Ed asks Tommy what Norma has said to him about Liz, he says this. Well, she's never, she's never given me an opinion that she didn't like her. He actually, she actually said that she's a great girl. Now this, I think, is suspicious. Bear with me on this one. This is either a very nice surprise for Ed, or it's what he already knows, and the surprise is hearing it out loud. I hadn't really thought about it before this, but what if the whole Norma situation actually has nothing to do with Liz? Because we haven't actually heard anything directly from Norma, Big Ed has been the one driving the whole narrative on this one, and he's made it out as if Norma hates Liz and doesn't approve of the relationship. But what if that's a lie? What if Norma, as Tommy suggests here, doesn't actually have any problem with Liz? And in reality, she's just mad at Ed for the way that he kicked her out when Liz moved in. This wouldn't be the first time that Ed has deflected or found a scapegoat for his issues. But if this is true and he's actually been shifting the entirety of the blame onto Liz, this could be a relationship ender. Maybe I'm reading too much into this, but I can't figure out why Norma would be telling everyone that she thinks Liz is a great girl if she doesn't approve of her, and why everyone else seems to be talking as if Norma's only issue is the way that Big Ed kicked her out. Anyway, it's something we'll no doubt come back to, but for now, the engagement party is over. So they all gather in the kitchen for a final toast from Ed. You guys, thank you so much. Liz and I want to thank you for giving us this opportunity. I've found love and I'm very happy. We don't know the date yet, but we are gonna get married. And that was that. Ed did ditch Liz right at the start of the party despite promising that he wouldn't, 
But other than that, it went pretty well. There were no tears or arguments. Everyone seemed to accept Liz and welcome her into the family. It was all quite uneventful. The only thing that really had any significance going forward was what Tommy said about Norma and Liz. But I guess we're gonna have to see if anything develops on that front before drawing any more conclusions. For now though, they have one final day left in Arkansas. So the next morning they get up and head to the ranch for some four wheeling. <laughs> Holy fucking mother, we started to go sideways. That was fun. This whole segment was so funny because Ed was driving so slowly that even Norma could outrun them. But then when they swapped over, Liz absolutely put her foot down and Ed was visibly filling up his adult diaper the entire time. I can't lie though, it did look very fun and there were a few cute moments between the two of them so there's not really much to talk about here. At the end of the course, they pull up and say their final goodbyes to Ed's family. Thanks for opening up your home. You're just welcome. I like how everyone's connected to family. It's really nice and really welcoming. I really like this from Liz. It's true, they did really give her a chance and really did make her feel welcome. So it's nice for her to acknowledge that and thank them for their hospitality. Especially Christine as well. When she had Ed and Liz over the night before the engagement party, she was just really friendly and understanding of the whole situation. I don't think Liz could have really asked for more from her. The whole trip was actually pretty wholesome. So Big Ed says that he's hoping that Liz getting along with his family is a good sign for the future. And hopefully something that his mum Norma will eventually get to see. You know, if, if she saw the amount of love and acceptance we got at your party, she would get over her whatever. Yeah. Okay, this again is a little bit suspicious. Maybe I'm reading into it too much again, but dismissing the whole issue as whatever was very conveniently timed. If Big Ed has always told Liz and us that Liz is the problem, but his family think that Norma has no problems with Liz and that he's the problem, is that why he said get over her whatever in front of Liz and his sister? I mean, if he had said she would get over her problem with Liz, Christine would have been like, what? What problem with Liz? And if he had said, get over her issue with me, Liz would have been like, don't you mean her problem with me? And Liz and Christine would have become aware that there are two different storylines going on here. Again, this could just be coincidence, but it's just a little bit too convenient for me. I'm curious what you guys think here. Do you think Ed might have been playing a game? Or do you think I'm reading too much into it? Uh, but thanks for all your support on that. You're welcome. I appreciate Absolutely. it. Love you, Ed. Right, we love you too. All right, God bless you. And so that's how the second engagement party episode ends. Much to my surprise, as I'm sure it was to yours, they managed to survive the entire Arkansas trip without any fighting, bickering, tears, or tantrums. The question of whether Liz or Big Ed is the problem in Norma's eyes remains to be seen, but I'm sure we'll get to the truth sooner or later. However, as is always the case with this couple, Good times don't last. Liz is about to get hit by an absolute bombshell from her ex, which makes her doubt if she even wants to stay with Ed and results in her telling Ed that she wants to leave San Diego entirely. Whether she's gonna wanna take him with her, we're just gonna have to wait and find out. So if you enjoyed today's video, please feel free to subscribe so you can catch the next one as soon as it's out. And so you can keep up with the rest of the saga and catch more videos in future just like this one. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.